So Aquarius, the overall energy of your reading here is the Nine of Cups. Now this can be a card of wishes coming true, which is very nice. Uh, it can also be a card of not being able to hand out your love or, or intentionally not handing out your love. Keeping your love on a shelf behind you. Guarding it for the right time, the right person. So let's find out why the Nine of Cups is surrounding your entire reading. Up here in your highest energy, I have some confusion going on here about love. That's why you are guarding your love. Because this is the Seven of Cups. And see, all those cups have something else in them. That doesn't leave much room for love. And this is the way your relationships have been going, or one that you're currently in. It feels like a, another cup, a Seven of Cups. There's something in there. They all look great, you know. They're all yelling, pick me, pick me. But none of those cups are the right cups. So you're confused about love. I have the Queen of Cups next to the Seven of Cups and right above the Nine of Cups. The Queen of Cups is water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that might be strong in your chart or in someone else's around this reading. But what the Queen, male or female, all the cards are male or female, is trying to do is peek in those little windows on the lid of that cup because that cup is full of answers to love questions. So you have questions about love. I mean, how are you going to know? How are you going to know when you have a cup that's presented to you that doesn't have something else in it, that something else isn't going to uh, pr take precedence over the love or over the relationship? So you're, you're a little confused. You might be trying to figure out your own feelings. Right next to the Queen of Cups, I have the Lovers. Wow, this is a very strong soulmate card. This is a card for Gemini. Gemini might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But there's your guardian angels and your spirit guides right there. And um, what they're doing is they're trying to bring you together with somebody here. This is a divine soulmate. You probably were lovers in another life. So um, the angels, the guardian angels' arms are out, and they're like trying to bring you together. Now, you know this soulmate. Uh, if you don't know this soulmate, you will know them the second you lay eyes on them, the second you meet eyes, because this is a, such a strong connection. There's no denying it for either party. So, you're confused. You're trying to figure out the love. And it might be because of this person right here. There's, there's a very strong soulmate. Maybe, maybe you're just worried that you picked the wrong cup. Maybe you've had other relationships where you've picked the wrong cup and you're, you're kind of doubting yourself. And so you feel like you need to like put your love on a shelf behind you and see where this goes before totally uh, letting yourself into this relationship, your full heart. I have the Five of Swords under the Seven of Cups. This is about picking up swords of truth and of clarity. Can be through conversation. But you're, you're actually looking back and, and there's actually two people fading away in the distance. So there might be something going on here. Um, this might be why you're confused. This could be a past relationship. Let me keep reading. Um, this person that you're looking back at, that means you're thinking about them and you're gathering up truth and clarity as far as, you know, what happened here. Uh, you are in your head about, about this, it feels like. You put your love on a shelf. I do have the lovers here. The lovers are standing out to me because it's almost like if this is the same person coming back, they're coming back without the other energy. There was another energy, the something, the something that was in their cup, just like with the Seven of Cups. They'll be coming back without it. Let's just keep reading. On the other side of the Nine of Cups is the High Priestess. This is the card of intuition and knowing in the tarot deck. Wow, this, you know, this is saying follow your intuition. You know, pay attention to the red flags and the green flags. Trust what yourself is telling you about this relationship and it has to do with the soulmate relationship. It also has to do with you holding on to your love because I don't think you really know what to think. 
you're in a state of sort of confusion going on here about love. And I think you're face to face with a divine soulmate here uh, that your guardian angels and spirit guides are just trying to, to bring you two together. So it could be the same person that's coming back without the third energy, which was probably one of these cups. Okay. I have the seven of pentacles right below the five of swords. The seven of pentacles is waiting for something to come to fruition and waiting and waiting and waiting uh, forever waiting. It's like that, you know, the bush grew, it got buds, but it never bloomed. And you're just waiting for it to bloom. And that stick, that staff is actually holding you up in this picture. So I feel like you, you've, you kind of had to let this person go out of your life. Uh, because it, was, it wasn't going anywhere. And so you put your love on a shelf. Well, I'm still thinking about this lover's card. Why is it up there? Why is it next to the Queen of Cups? I have the Emperor here next to the Seven of Pentacles and right under the Nine of Cups, the overall energy. The Emperor is about um, someone with a strong personality. It's, it's like they're stubborn. Uh, once they make up their mind, it's really hard to change their mind. They're very well liked and respected by others around them. It's the ones closest to them that sees this other side of them. The emperor uh, can be a leader in their profession. Uh, but they uh, it's, it's like holding true to yourself and uh, not veering off the course that you want to be on. So I feel... I feel like this is you because it's right under the Nine of Cups. I feel like you are holding true to yourself. You're being stubborn. You've made up your mind. You're not handing out those cups of love unless things come together in the way that you think they should for you. This is also the card for Aries, by the way. Aries might be strong in your chart or someone else is around this reading. So next to the Emperor, I have the Nine of Pentacles. And this is under the high priestess. So you've gone back. It feels like you've gone back to being you. You're, you're fine on your own. You're, you're solid. You're secure. You're stable. Uh, you're grounded. Um, you're attractive. You are self-assured. Um, there are a lot of great qualities about you just being a single person. Why do you need all this confusion in your life? And I think that's what you're wondering. <laughs> But it's right under the high priestess, right next to the emperor. You're going to hold true to being you. You know you don't have to have anybody, but you'd like somebody. And whoever has been in your life has not worked out. I still need to find out more on this lover's card. Now, this could have been a divine soulmate that needed to come back into your life. Uh, maybe you, there was a soul contract that needed to be refilled. Uh, refilled. <laughs> need to be filled. Uh, maybe things ended too early in another life with this person because I definitely believe you're lovers in another life and that's that was the strong connection. But maybe it was meant to be temporary. So let's take out the rest of these cards and see what else I can come up with in looking at these cards. Well, Aquarius. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Okay, this is not a temporary thing. This is the beginning of another relationship. The lovers. There's a divine soulmate coming in. Okay? They're coming in while you're feeling, still feeling worn out from, the, from a prior relationship that you had to let go. You were really drugged through the mud. You were at your wit's end. You finally had to let them go. Let them fade away. They were not working out. But you're going to be in your own. It's just that you got fed up. But I feel like there's a, another soulmate relationship, because it's right here, that's coming in. And you're guarding, you, it's like all this was supposed to happen. They're supposed to go away so that this new lover can come in. You were supposed to reach your wit's end so this new lover can come in. I have the Queen of Pentacles on the other side of the Nine of Wands. So reaching your wit's end, um, here you are, this is your energy. But this is um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Earth. It's an Earth card. <clears throat> that might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But there you are. You're looking at that pentacle and you're like, no, 
I need somebody who is grounded. I need somebody who is secure and stable in my life and willing to commit. And you're not settling. You've made up your mind. You're not going to settle for anything less. So you had to let this other relationship go because it was less than what you want from your lover in your life. And then here they come. It's a Knight of Cups, male or female. That Now, this is the offer. There is an offer coming in. They may just want your phone number, go to coffee, or, you know, uh, for a walk. It may be something really simple, but it's sincere, and they have good intentions. So there's <clears throat> an offer that's coming in, Aquarius, and they are grounded. They have a pentacle. They want the same things you, you want. They have the same things you have with the Nine of, Nine of Pentacles. They are already grounded. They're already secure in their job. They're already, you know, uh, self-assured. Um, they already have everything that they need except the person to share their life with. And so they need someone who is a lot like them, who is already grounded, who already has uh, an income, who already, you know, knows what they want so that you can be partners, move forward together, and build your loving empire. And this is your soulmate. This is who your guardian angels and spirit guides are trying to bring you together. And they really might have earth in their chart. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And that king of pentacles, all cards are male or female, remember that. That king of pentacles is right next to the high priestess, which was saying, follow your intuition. Okay, don't let the past guide you. Um, learn from it. But follow your intuition because there's going to be such a strong connection when you meet eyes with this person. Um, don't, uh, don't throw that away. Don't walk away from it. Um, if you feel that connection, go with it. I have the Eight of Swords next to the King of Pentacles and right under the Queen of Pentacles. So it's, it's like... This is an illusion of feeling trapped and not knowing the truth and the clarity of everything around you. Um, it's only an illusion because your feet aren't bound, your mouth isn't bound. You can ask, you know, about what's around you. You can walk out of this situation. So it's only like feeling like uh, you don't have all the answers, but that all the answers are all around you. And when this person shows up, you will. It's, it's like everything else is going to go away. You know, I have the Four of Swords right next to the Eight of Swords and right under the Knight of Cups. Um, you are going through this period of healing. And that's why you're being bound by those swords because you don't know the whole truth. You don't know exactly what happened. All you know is it wasn't working. And, you, you know, there was something, that, uh, an energy attached to that person that left with them. But you do spend time alone in the state of healing. This is a, a very deep healing card, very spiritual with stained glass windows. But this is about meditating, praying, soul searching for the truth and the clarity. And so while you're in this healing mode from this other relationship, another offer comes in. And this is the one. This is the one that your guardian angels and spirit guides want you to pay attention to. I have the Empress right under the King of Pentacles and next to the Nine of Pentacles. The Empress. This is to remind you of what a beautiful person you are inside. This is qualities, um, male or female. Um, the Empress, if you're a parent, you're an excellent parent. I'll start with that one. But you are kind and thoughtful and loving and supportive and generous. And just there are so many wonderful qualities about you that whoever you do let into your life, now they have to be grounded. They need to be secure and stable. They have to have a job. They might even have a house, whatever. Um, but they also have to have a lot of these qualities the same as you for this to last. So this is how you're going to know that they're the right person. Remember, you're, you're wondering, how, how are you going to know when, when you're going to hand out your love? Well, look for this. This is your advice. Make sure that they are grounded, they are stable in being them, and make sure that they, they have a lot of the same morals and, and beliefs, and they treat people the way you treat people. 
that if all that comes together, it's your divine soulmate. It's your divine lover coming in that your guardian angels have brought in. Uh, next to the Empress is the Ace of Swords. And this is under the Eight of Swords. So the Ace of Swords, is a, it's about conversation. It's about truth. It's about clarity. And um, so I feel like this is a conversation that is had that's going to help set you free. Um, when this person comes in, I think this is what's going to allow you to know that this is the right person. This is the right soulmate for you in this life. Okay. And so talk, 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 talk. Matter of fact, the two of you might be able to talk forever. I mean, like one of those deals where you talk all night long and then next thing you know, the sun's coming up. One of those deals. And it's right next to the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is right under the Four of Swords, that deep healing, meditating, praying card over there. So all this truth and clarity. Um, I think you're going to find that you will have passion for this person. Your heart is going to get involved. Um, you're also holding a staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. This is a card for fire. So this is Aries, which is right here. Leo or Sagittarius might be strong in somebody's chart, but you have passion and you're going to have passion for this person. Uh, it's like wherever you put your love, you put your passion, gardens, animals, lovers, whatever it might be. And so the Queen of Wands, by getting to know this person who's coming in, who desires the same things you desire, they have the same qualities. They think about life a lot like you do. Um, they treat people a lot like you do. Um, you're just going to go head over heels for this person. <laughs> you are going to go head over heels. Oh my gosh. You're not going to be able to keep your hands off of them. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is pull one uh, angel card. This is the Dorian Virtues angel deck. And um, I'm just going to pull one card. It can be a card of advice or a card of um, just letting you know what's going on around you. Uh, I don't know until I pull the card. There's 78 cards in that deck. And so I'm just going to cut the deck where I feel. And there's your card. It's the four of thought. The four of thought. Now you can pause. And you can read this card and really look at this card, but I'm going to read it to you, okay? The Four of Thought. Spend time in nature, listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice. Now, we've had that already. Your guardian angels and spirit guides, your own inner voice, the high priestess. Because overanalyzing the situation won't provide the answers you're seek seeking. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate. And become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation can be very helpful. And that's what the Four of Swords is a lot about. Meditation. So I'm going to show you that card one more time. So you can take a really good look at it. 